Elvin again. Here, uh, the holes have been made. They have been made with a saw, the hacksaw. Everyone is done, but you might wonder, how will I do to actually sew these signatures together? Well, I've built uh, something that is called a binding loom. Binding loom is quite easy to do. It just takes a board. Of course, that is the size, uh, in this case, of this paper. This paper fits neatly here. And you need a set of two by fours to elevate the board, which you will make a hole where these screws, three quarter of an inch screws, will go into, and that you can actually stop with a bolt, a nut. <clears throat> and once this is done, you just place them right here. Those two columns actually will hold this little piece of wood that is one inch by one inch by whatever size you want. And from this place, you will actually attach the cords that will go into these holes so that you can bind the pages. For that, you see that the height is high, so you, you couldn't be able, you wouldn't be able to work. So what you have is another board that I made. You see one inch, one inch, one inch, and a thin uh, wood that you can use. And when you actually start to thread, you will put your pages right there. And I don't know if you've noticed, but they're marked an inch apart. And that's where your holes and your cords will come. And later, when this one is done with the cords, I will sew every which page, which we'll, we'll see later. But that is an easy thing to do. It costs about $30 to, well, that's what we paid when we went to the hardware store to actually acquire all these bits and pieces to actually build a loom. Those uh, that you see here on the side are just uh, rails so that this can slide in and out, okay? So I will uh, mount the loom, put the cords, and I will show you how it's stitched. So we will use kettle stitch, eventually Coptic stitch as well. And I'll explain as we go along. See you later.